Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel, and I'm now going through question number three from the January 2022 Pure Mathematics P2 International A Level Ed Excel exam. And this question here is about the binomial expansion, and we've got to find the first four terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of 2 minus kx over 4 to the power of 8, where k is a non zero constant. Give each term. In simplest form, so of course the answer is going to have, um, going to be in terms of x. The terms will be in terms of x. Now, when we do binomial expansion, we're going to use the NCR method, which is basically the calculator way of using Pascal's triangle to find coefficients. And we start off by writing out the NCR part, which is going to be eight, the power zero. We want the first four terms, so you're going to have 8, 0, 8, 1, 8, 2, and 8, 3. Those will be the first three coefficients from Pascal's triangle. Then you're going to have the number here, 2. Um, and over here you're going to have the term which is minus kx over 4. Now, as we want ascending powers of x, I'm going to put here... Um, 0 for this power and 8 for that power. One of them has to start from the highest and the other one from the lowest. So one of them has to start from 8, the other one from 0. They have to add up to give you this number here. Now, I want ascending powers of x. So I'm going to start off with the x bracket as the 0 power. And then what's going to happen as this one decreases, so this can become 7. This is going to become kx over 4 to the power of 1. So it's going to start ascending. These, these will ascend and these will descend. So this is 2 to the power of 6, and this is minus kx over 4 to the power of 2, and this will be 2 to the power of 5, and that's a 3 here, by the way, and this will be minus kx over 4 to the power of 3. That's ascending powers of x, and we can work out what this is now. 8c0 is 1, 2 to the power of 8 is, you have 2 to the power of 8, which gives you 256, so it's 1 times 256 times, and this is going to give you 1 as well. Anything to the power of 1 is 1, so the first term is going to be 256. So that's the first term in the expansion. So we can say 2 minus, 2 minus k x over 4 to the power of 8 is equal to 256. And then we're going to have the next term. I'm not going to put plus because it might be a negative. All right, the next term is going to be 8c1, which is 8, and 2 to the power of 7. So we have 2 to the power of 7. Whoops, 2 to the power of 7, which is 128, half of that, of course, times, and now minus kx over 4 to the power of 1 is minus kx over 4. So we end up with 8 times... 128 and then divided by 4 gives us 256. That's going to be minus 256 times k. That's minus 256 times k. That's a k here. And you're going to have 8c2. Now I'll resort to the calculator for that. You have 8 shift and then the NCR button 2. 8c2 gives us 28. So this is 28 times 2 to the power of 6, which is 64 times minus kx over 4, all squared. Okay, which I'll actually, I've got that there, so I'll just, I'll, I'll write that down. That's going to be times, uh, if you if you square minus k, you're going to get k squared. You square x, you're going to get x squared. You square 4, you're going to get 16. So now we can work out what that is. You've got 28 times 64 divided by 16. That gives you 112, so this is going to be 112k squared. So we have minus 256k and plus 112k squared. So this is kx, and this is k squared x squared. Okay, this is the x term, and this is the x squared term. This will be kx, this is kx squared. So this is kx plus 112k squared x squared. And then finally, we're going to have the last term, which is 8c2. 8c2. 
three, sorry, HC three, which is fifty six times two to the power of five, which is thirty two times, and this is going to be minus k cubed, which is going to be minus k cubed, x cubed over four to the power of three, which is sixty four. So we have fifty six times thirty two divided by sixty four gives you 28, so this will be negative 28 k cubed x cubed. Negative 28 k cubed x cubed. And there we have our answer, the expansion, up to the first four terms. Okay, the first four terms in ascending powers of x. Okay, now for part b of question 3. And in this question, we are given this... Um, Function f of x, which is equal to 5 minus 3x times 2 minus kx over 4 to the power of 8, which is the same. This part of it is exactly the same of what we just expanded in the previous part of the question here. So this, this section here is the same as what we just expanded. All right, And it's telling us in this question, um, in the expansion of f of x, that the constant term is 3 times the coefficient of x. So when you expand all of this, then the term that you get is a, that's a constant. It's, its value is three times the value of the coefficient of the x term when you expand this. So we've got to find the value of k. So what we need to do is, of course, we need to use what we have already found in the last part of the question, which was the expansion. So I've got the expansion here. That's what we expanded in the last part of the question, 2, 5, 6. So we expand this bracket. It gives us this expansion here. And we have to concentrate on the, the terms when I multiply 5 minus 3x, multiply 5, take away 3x, multiplied by, now I'm going to write down the expansion of this bracket. Now all I'm concerned about, minus, you've got 2, 5, 6, minus 2, 5, 6, kx, um, plus I'm not worried about any of the other terms except for these because I'm only concerned about the x terms when I expand this bracket. So when I expand these, these two brackets, if I, for example, if I multiplied 5 by this term, it's going to give me an x squared term. If I multiply minus 3x by this term, it's going to give me an x cubed term and so on. So all I'm concerned about are these two terms and the terms here which I multiply them by. So if we think about the constant term that will appear when I finish expanding this bracket, I'll have 5 times two, two, 256. That would be the only constant term. Now, 5 times 256, that gives us 1,280. So that's the constant term. And then if we think about the x term, well, the x term will be found when I do 5 times 250, uh, sorry, 5 times minus 256k, which is negative 1,280k x okay so i'm, I'm not going to write that the x term this will be the coefficient of the x term so five times negative 256k will give you uh, the um, an x term and the other x term will be found when i do minus 3x times 256 so you're going to have 256 times 3 that gives you negative 768 that will be the 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 other x term all the other terms if i multiplied the five by this and the 5 by that, there won't be x terms. If I multiply the negative 3x by this, and the negative 3x by that, even if I multiply by this, I won't get an x squared to our x term. I'll have x squared terms and x cubed terms and so on. So I'm just concerned about th these. So I've got here minus, well, that doesn't simplify because there's no k with that. So that gives us negative 768 and negative 1280. That's simplified. So I know that the, it says that the, constant term is three times the coefficient of x. So this term, 1,280, 1,280 is equal to three times the coefficient of x, which is equal to three times minus 1,280 k minus 768. Okay, now to simplify this, what I can do is I can divide both sides by three to get rid of the three. Will that work? 1,280 divided by three. That gives up, well, that doesn't work. So what I'll do, I'll expand it better. It'll be better to expand it. So I have 1,280 equals, I'll do three times 1,280. That gives you three, 
3840, so negative 3840k, and then minus 3 times 768. That gives us 2,304, 2,304. Okay, so now we can find what K is. I can add this term to both sides. So I have 3,840K is equal to negative 2,304 minus 1,280. So 3,840K is equal to... I've got this minus 230 minus 1280. Whoops. Don't want the answer there. Minus 230. Take away, oh, sorry, 2304. Sorry, what am I doing? Take away another 1280. And that gives us minus 3584. Now I can find what K is by dividing these together. So I have minus 3,584 over 3,840. So I have this divided by 3,840. And that gives us negative 14 over 15, which is our answer. So K is equal to negative 14 over 15. All right, so that's important here for us to understand what to do, okay? That when you expand this, we use the expansion that we already found in part A in order to write this out. And we don't need to worry about all the other terms like the x squared terms and the x cubed terms. So that's why I only cared about writing down the first two terms here because those are the terms that will generate the constants and the x terms when I expand these two brackets. Uh, I didn't expand, you know, all the way to there. I just thought about what will give me the constant. It will be this times this. That's the only way you're going to get constant. And the x term will only be found when you do 5 times this term and three x minus 3x times this term. And that will give you your constant, co the, the, sorry, the, co the coefficient of x. And the coefficient of uh, the constant is 3 times, is equal to 3 times the coefficient of x. And you can set that equation up and then solve it for k as we did. Um, so that concludes this question, question part B. Um, of January 2022, Pure Mathematics um, P2. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that should appear in this area over here. Other questions from Binomial Expansion can be found in the playlist that should appear over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And on the top of the page, you'll see a card that will take you to a um, paper, maybe the October paper, that you might um, be interested in watching, October 2021. Thank you for watching and see you soon.